Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Agro Info Hub. Today, I want to talk about the rice blast disease. Introduction. Rice blast disease is a fungal disease caused by the fungus Magnaporth oryzae that affects rice crops. It is one of the most devastating diseases of rice worldwide, causing significant yield losses if not managed effectively. In this video, we will discuss the symptoms, life cycle, and management of rice blast disease. Symptoms. The first visible symptoms of rice blast disease are small, water-soaked lesions on the leaves, which gradually enlarge and turn brown or gray. The lesions may have a yellowish-green halo around them. The disease can also affect the stems, panicles, and grains. Infected grains are typically shriveled, discolored, and have reduced yield and quality. Life Cycle the rice blast fungus can survive in soil, crop debris, and infected plant parts. The fungus produces spores that are carried by wind, water, and insects. The spores can infect the rice plant through wounds or natural openings. The disease can spread rapidly during periods of high humidity and warm temperatures. Management Effective management of rice blast disease involves a combination of cultural practices, chemical control, and the use of resistant rice varieties. Cultural practices include crop rotation, proper field preparation and management, and timely planting. Crop rotation with non-rice crops can reduce the buildup of disease-causing organisms in the soil. Proper field preparation and management, such as ensuring proper drainage and avoiding water stagnation, can also reduce the risk of infection. Chemical control involves the use of fungicides to control the disease. Fungicides should be applied according to the manufacturer's instructions and at the right time to be effective. The use of resistant rice varieties is another effective management strategy. Planting resistant varieties can significantly reduce the risk of infection and minimize yield losses. In conclusion, managing rice blast disease in rice fields requires a comprehensive approach that includes cultural practices, chemical control, and the use of resistant rice varieties. Regular monitoring and timely intervention are essential to the success of the management plan. By implementing these measures, rice farmers can reduce the impact of rice blast disease and ensure a healthy and productive rice